purpose of this video is to talk about how to uh, run Dev Express tools inside of SharePoint 2010. Uh, the first thing you do is go grab the latest version of the uh, the experience um, the Dev Express controls and all you're going to need to install in this particular case is the um, ASP.NET libraries. So you need the ASP.NET web forms and uh, the demos are good to help you uh, review it and just load those in. Once you uh, have the Dev Express uh, experience installed, you can then go to the installation directory under Program Files, the Experience, um, Tools, and SharePoint. And then you've got the ability uh, to install the basic demo uh, functionality using the ASPX SharePoint register. You just run that. You pick your domain that you want to install to. And then you can choose whether you want it to install into the web application or into the global assembly cache. And then register. And that's going to put the registry entries necessary into your web.config uh, so that the Dev uh, Express tools are supported. So once that's done, uh, that's pretty much all the work that needs to be done on the server. Um, now we can go look and see how this actually works in a, uh, on a SharePoint website. So um, I'm going to navigate to a basic team site. So this is a, a, a pretty much out of the box uh, SharePoint Foundation team site uh, that is a run the default tool. The only thing I've added to here is I've gone out and grabbed these cantaloupe statistics. Uh, and this is just a, a table of data that I use to be able to uh, demonstrate some of the functionality of the grid. So what you're seeing now is how SharePoint natively would support uh, viewing this the list. Um, and then what we can do is if we want to see how Dev Express uh, enhances this presentation of the list, we can go back to the uh, back to the team site homepage. I'm going to edit the page. Um, whoop, got to sign in first. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in. Uh, I'm going to edit this page, and I'm going to add the Dev Express web part to it. So anywhere in this place, I can stick in here, but right here is a good spot. I'm going to go ahead and select Insert Web Part. And the web parts show up in the miscellaneous. There's two different web parts that come with Dev Express. The first is the, uh, the one I want to demo is the SPX List View web part. So what this will do is uh, once I install this, uh, it's going to uh, ask me to point when I go look at the edit web parts. You go in and look at the uh, pick which list. So we're going to go ahead and look at the cantaloupe statistics. And we can come up here and uh, make it a little nice. Stats. Um, we're just going to show the title. And we'll go down here, and that's pretty much all you need to do. So once we've once we've done that, um, there we go. So you can see uh, our cantaloupe statistics show up in here. Um, we'll go ahead and save the page, save and close. Um, so I'm out of the editing session, and now we're just as an end user would be coming into here. And this is the cantaloupe statistics using the DevX list view. So this is wired up, and so you get a lot of the um, you get your edit uh, and delete functionality. You get your ability to to filter on data, and this is pretty much Dev Express uh, grid, the DX grid functionality. Um, so I'm able to handle that type of thing. If I want to group, all I need to do is drag and up here. And so now I can see this is uh, these are actually cantaloupe statistics for how many cantaloupes were sent by year from each of the following locations into these cities. So if you look at Boston, you'll see that uh, Boston gets most of its cantaloupes from California. Whereas if you look at uh, Atlanta, Atlanta gets most of its cantaloupes from California. So, um, but what we can do here is twist and look around and say, well, we're, we're from Texas. And we can sort uh, the, the amount and say, who gets the most from Texas? Well, 1994. Um, the total from Texas was 374. Uh, we can look here and see the biggest spender was other and New York. So New York consumed the most uh, cantaloupes from Texas. So by having this grid control, we're able to quickly go in and assess uh, and do some data analytics on SharePoint lists uh, straight out of the box with no customization, just by simply dropping a web part on the screen. Thanks.